I'm going to begin the screencast with the bullet, The Colonial Homefront, and I just want to get through Valley Forge today. So when we talk about the home front, we're referring to what's happening to those who are not fighting in the war, aka the civilians. So what's happening to the women and to the children and to the elderly and to those who are not fighting? Life was really difficult on the colonial home front. And I have some reasons why on the PowerPoint. Um, the economy was really bad. Economy during war at home is not always good. Um, goods were scarce. Prices were high. And on top of that, people were being forced out of their homes to avoid battle. Imagine if war was taking place right outside your front door. Now, a certain group did rise to the occasion, um, I must say, during the uh, American Revolution, and that's women. Um, women definitely had to step up to the plate during this war and take care of work at, you know, on the farms and at home while the men were away. And there are some cases where some women actually disguised themselves as soldiers and actually fought in the war. Now this is, few women actually did this, but there are cases where this did happen. And um, the example I want you to know, her name is Molly Pitcher. All right, Valley Forge. Um, this is going to refer to a long winter for the colonial soldiers that George Washington and his troops really suffered through. And it's in um, Pennsylvania. There was not a lot of money available for the colonists and the, um, sorry, the colonial troops for the Continental Army. And the soldiers were trying to survive in very, very harsh winter conditions. The winter of 77, uh, 1777 and 1778, just that, that winter, so from the December time to the uh, like February, um, it was one of the worst winters ever. Um, and the men did not have a lot of supplies, and thousands of British, um, not British, sorry, thousands of colonial soldiers will die during this winter. Here's a quote, but you don't have to write this down, but you can see um, George Washington kind of accounting for how bad things got. Um, and he actually becomes a hero to his men um, because he used some of his own money to help his troops as they waited for the French reinforcements to arrive with extra supplies. And it's during this winter that people really start to look at George Washington as a great leader, a good example of a leader. And we will finish this last little bit of information in class on uh, Tuesday, and we'll review for the test, all right? I hope you'll have a great three-day weekend. Get this done.